Hi guys, I'm Rita. In today's episode, I will show you how you can record supplier credit note. So if you have received a credit note from supplier, there are two ways how we can record those credit notes. If credit note comes directly to be allocated to particular supplier invoice, there is a one way how we can do it. But if credit note is just issued to allocate an account, there is another way. So I will cover both of those options in this episode. So to add a credit note to particular invoice, we need to go to purchases, purchase invoices. And let's say invoice from Baker's World have sent us a credit note because there was damaged goods. Click on add credit note on right hand side. And now we have option to select, for example, I will select 25th. We can add a reference like original invoice no uh, number. If, if we know that number, we would enter there. And now we can remove the lines which uh, there is no credit note received. So I have received credit note for this one item, which was for baking cases, because they didn't actually arrive. And it was one for five pounds. And I can add in note that missed from order not received okay and once you are happy you can still add uh, any other support documents if needed we can save or save a new if you have a new credit note in a line to allocate to one of invoices so i will click save so this invoice, this credit note, supplier credit note being allocated to supplier invoice. We can see it's allocated to invoice. So when we go to our purchase invoices and we look on Baker's World, original invoice for 1250, but now it's outstanding only 750. That's because we have allocated credit note of five pounds on when we click on one payment payment here, we can see that credit note being allocated of five pounds. So other way is when we receive credit note and it's been not like allocated or not particular issued to particular invoice, uh, then we can ish, uh, record it on Sage by clicking on purchase credit notes and click on new credit note. Select the supplier who send you credit note for example, local shop, select a date, reference number, uh, uh, like supplier's credit notes number. So LS credit note one, two, three. If there is a original invoice number, you can add more details in second field called reference. Select product service. In my case, I will select baking paper. I have one or at 250 and click save. On right hand side, we still have an option to edit. For example, if price, what we entered, uh, it's just system price, but actually it is 260. For example, we go back and we put 2.60. Okay, and once we are happy, click save. We can also add file. We can copy this credit note, we can dispute this credit note, and at the end of the day, still delete. So this is a way how we can record supplier credit notes, either to alloc allocate a particular invoice or completely add a new credit note, which is not allocated to any invoices um, or shouldn't be allocated to any invoices at all. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Also, if you have decided to test and trial Sage accounting software for yourself or start your business operations on Sage, but you are not 100% sure where and how to start, I have shared the link in the description section below to my complete and full Sage tutorial.